In this video, we're going to be going over how to calibrate a standard coffee brewer. We're going to start by taking off the four bolts that you see on the front of the brewer. Once those four screws are out, you can take the front panel here off and the exact directions to calibrate this machine are right here on the back side. Um, it tells you how to increase the batch and how to decrease the batch right there. Inside of the machine here, you'll see a control board. Um, on the control board, you have a switch right here. What this switch does here is allows you to calibrate the machine. If this switch is on the no position, you won't be able to calibrate it. So what you wanna do is flip this switch up into the top position, and now you can recalibrate the machine. So now that you have the position upwards, uh, we can calibrate the machine. So you'll want to make sure that the brewer is on. You have your basket on and you'll have your pitcher that reads ounces. So go ahead and put that and start a brewing cycle. Okay, now that we're done here, we'll take the canister and see how close it was to the 64 mark. So this one's already been calibrated and it is actually at 64. So I wanna show you what we have to do when it's above or below what it should be. To increase our batch, we wanna add our canister here. And what we're going to do is we're going to hold the start button until we hear the three clicks. Once you hear that, you're going to click it once for every two seconds you want to add. I just added four seconds because I clicked it two more times after the three clicks. So now after doing that, um, I've increased it a little too high than we want it. So to decrease the batch amount, what we want to do is Press the start button once for every two seconds we want to take off of the brewing process and then hold until we hear the three clicks again. So I need to take off four seconds, so I'm going to press this twice. And then I'm going to hold it until we hear the three clicks. and let go and let it do its thing. And now our calibration is perfect and we want to save those settings. In order to save those settings, we're going to go back into the brewer to the control board and that switch, we're going to flip it down. Again, you want to put this, this switch right here in the down position. That's the up position. That's the down position. And then don't forget to put the plate back on. And that's how you calibrate a coffee brewer.